Hi guys and welcome to this developer review of Popamores Productions, the company behind the Steam early access game Snow. On its store page, Snow describes itself as the only free to play open world winter sports game. Explore a massive mountain, customize your character with clothing and equipment from the biggest brands and compete in events to be the best. Initially released on October 10th, 2013 as a purchasable game, a few days ago Snow switched across to the free-to-play model. It has a mostly positive rating, with 70% of reviews being positive, and there's more than 2,500 reviews already. It's worth noting that a few days ago when I started researching this game, it had a mixed review at that point, so that means it's had a big surge in positive reviews since it went free-to-play. Before starting on the four ratings for the review, I just want to spend some time to cover the history of Snow and Poppermore's productions. Snow was first announced on November 2nd, 2011, with the promise of a 0.1 demo version being released by the end of 2011. Now that didn't happen, and it wasn't until October 29th the following year, when they announced a technical issue that they'd been having had been overcome, and that they'd started work on their first mountain, Cialia. Now this seems to have been a very, very important step in the progress of this particular game, because on January 22nd, 2013, they announced a number of athlete partnerships. March 27th, 2013, they announced a tie-up with the Tanner Hall Invitational event. And much more importantly than these, on September 24th, 2013, they announced a large number of brand partnerships. Now, this was important because these brands will be available in the store. In fact, they're available now in the store where you can purchase different pants, different boots, different beanies, different masks. And this is the way that the game is going to be financed from now on. Now, it's free to play. So that set of three different announcements which followed on from the fixing of the technical issue are what allowed them to go into the free-to-play model, which is what they'd always said that they would do. The game went live on Steam Early Access on October 10th, 2013. When they released on Early Access, they put up a roadmap showing near-term, medium-term and long-term goals for the game. One of the most important, if not the most important, was the addition of snowboards. Now, snowboards has been promised in this game since it was initially launched in 2011. When they attended Gamescom in 2013, they talked about the game being a ski and snowboard game. And they promised within that development roadmap, when it was released on October 10th, 2013, that snowboards would be in within two to four months. It's now February 2016 and Snowboards is still not there, although the developers have said it's the number one thing they're working on right now. But this is cause for concern and something which will come up a little bit later on. At the beginning of 2014, the developers made a commitment to change to monthly updates. By and large, they've done a reasonable job of this and we'll touch on that a little bit later on with the ratings. In March of that year, they expanded to seven people. In August, they expanded out to nine developers. Also in August 2014, they made an announcement that they'll be coming to the PS4 in 2015. It's now 2016, and again, they've missed that particular target. So that's two important things these developers have missed during their five-year history. 2015 was a bit more of a standard year for Poppermore's Productions and Snow. They focused on the game itself, bringing it through different phases, having new updates coming out, releasing quite a large number of bug fixes and hot fixes, and adding the major components to the game, in preparation for its release as a true free-to-play title in January 2016. So with that very quick potted history of Poppermore's Productions and Snow out of the way, let's move into the four ratings for the developer review. The first rating is Community Interaction. The community interaction rating is all about how well the devs communicate with us, the community, via their Steam forums, their own forums, or any other medium that they use. Now, originally, Snow had its own forums on its own website, but they were taken down a while ago, and I suspect that was to focus on the Steam forums. Looking at the Steam forums, the devs are giving some very good answers in there. Generally, they're quick to respond, they're very polite, they have good answers. There's several devs on there answering questions as well. 
Snow changed to the free to play model a few days ago, so it's understandable that there's more devs on the forums now than usual to help deal with the large influx of new players. So I had a look back prior to when the update went out for the free to play model. And even then the devs were very active, they were giving good answers to good questions. But what they were also doing is there tends to be a lack of uh, community moderation and management as such. So they're very good at answering game questions, they're very good at the technical stuff. But if you get a couple of people getting into an argument, particularly about snowboards, they don't tend to step in. So I'm deducting one point for that. But other than that, their community interaction is very good. So they get a rating of B. The second rating is for developer speed. How quickly are updates released? If we're given a date in advance of when the patch is going to come out, how accurate is that versus the actual day that the patch comes out? And how much content is there per release? Now this has proven quite hard to judge because not all of the releases are shown on their Steam news page. So I've had to go back through the blog posts as well on their website. What's emerged is quite an interesting picture. In January 2014, they blogged that they're planning on bringing out a new update per month. What they've actually done is brought out a major update roughly every three to four months. They've brought out a minor update very, very roughly every month. And in between those, they've got hot fixes and bug patches. So over the past two years, they've had a reasonable schedule of releases, keeping the game fresh, dealing with bugs where they can, and also bringing the game up to the standard where they felt comfortable releasing it into the free-to-play model. Now, there is one thing that does stand out in this, and that's that they have a habit of releasing updates and then releasing two to three bug fixes in the next few days. That might smack of a lack of testing from their side before their release. So that is something that I would be curious to find out the reason for. It happens on almost every single update. So for the number of major releases that they've released and minor releases, bug fixes, hot fixes, I'm going to give them a rating of B for developer speed. The third rating is for development clarity. Snow is a game that's in early access, which means it's not complete. What features need to be added to make the game complete? When will those features be added? Is there a public roadmap? Is there something like a Trello board or a Google Doc where we can see what tasks are being worked on? When will the game itself be completed and when will it leave early access? Unfortunately, these are all areas where Poppermost Productions has fallen down. There's no public board, which gives an indication of what tasks are being worked on right now. There's no real information on what's going to be coming in the next patches. There's really only one roadmap that was released back in October 21st of 2013. And that shows that snowboards will be added within the next two to four months. So that's not being terribly accurate either. So there's very, very, very little development clarity. The only plus point in this section for Poppermore's Productions is that quite a number of the things on that roadmap from October 21st, 2013 have been done. So for that reason, they're going to get a rating of D for development clarity. The fourth rating is for developer honesty. This revolves around the claims that the devs have made about the game, have they ever lied or made a mistake, and how honest is their Steam store page relative to the game as it is today. Now it's fair to say that Poppermore's Productions have made a fair number of mistakes. I know I've mentioned this several times, but back in 2011, the game was introduced as a ski and snowboard game. In 2013 at Gamescom, they were still talking about a skiing and snowboarding game. Five years and there is still no snowboards. This is a big deal for the community. Secondly, they had that initial technical issue, where when they first announced the game in 2011, they said within a a couple of months they would have a 0.1 demo version that never materialized in fact they couldn't really start on the game for almost a year due to a technical issue thirdly in 2014 they announced that they will be doing a ps4 version of the game and the beta of that will be coming the next year in 2015 the last info we had on this was a post they made on january 27 2016 which said there's no info about the ps4 beta 
So those are three examples where it almost seems like the developers bitten off more than it can chew, where they've got excited about something, announced it, and then kind of gone, oh, crud. On the positive side, their Steam store page now is very accurate. It shows the features that the game has today, and it shows the upcoming features that they're working on, which is namely Snowboard, Snowmobiles, and Create. So they've given a definite confirmation that this is what they're working on right now, and they've also mentioned that in the forums. Now, only time will tell if those features come in, but that's something that we can look at in the future. Historically, they've got a very bad uh, history to the updates that they've released and the information they've given, but at the moment it looks like it's pretty accurate. So for those reasons, I'm going to give them a rating of C for developer honesty. Poppermost Productions are a small company trying to make a big game. It's clear they have a good understanding of the business of skiing and what will entice skiers into the game and make them want to play. Just as clearly, there's been several occasions now where they've made announcements which just have not followed through. What concerns me going forward is whether or not that trend will continue. As a free-to-play game, they have to continually update the game. They've got to keep it fresh. They've got to make sure there's new content in there. They've got to make sure it's as bug-free as possible. They are constantly under the spotlight. And if they carry on making announcements which they're not going to stick to, that's going to make this game potentially very short-lived. And they need to keep the player numbers up. Otherwise, the game will not survive. For these reasons, I'm going to give them a fairly reluctant negative recommendation. This is a critical time for Snow. They're only going to switch to the free-to-play model once, and they need to retain the players that are coming in. If they do not retain a critical mass, they will not have the money coming in to support the team. So they need to do everything possible to make sure they retain those players, and if at all possible, to increase the player base as well. It'll be interesting to look back in a few months on the progress that Snow has made, and I do hope that this game succeeds, and I hope that at that point I'm able to change this into a positive recommendation. That's it for now. As always, enjoy your gaming, and take care.